Hi everyone, Bea here. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your theme with Themes Generator using pre-styled blocks. So we're not going to start from scratch. We're just going to drag some of our extra blocks, our pre-built blocks that you that you can find here. And I'm going to show you how to modify them and then we'll export the theme and bring it into WordPress. Okay, so let's go. Okay, let's go to the block section. So Click over this icon if you're not there. So this is the block section and then you'll see they have basics, they have layout blocks, WordPress blocks and the extra blocks. These extra blocks are the pre-styled blocks. You just drag them and you have all the blocks styled. You have headers, footers, you have hero images and many more. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from top to bottom what our theme will look like. So we're going to start with the header. Also, I'm going to include what is necessary to export this theme into WordPress, which is a header separator and a footer separator. Okay, this is very important. You'll see here. Great, so let's start with the header. And first thing is come down here in extra. These are all the blocks that we're going to use. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go for header sample 4. So this is header sample 4. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag all the, the blocks and then I will make the changes. Next thing is I'm going to bring out a hero image which will be hero image number 2. As you see guys, you see it has an image, it has um, text that has already been styled. And now I'm going to drag out the cards block which is uh, very 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 handy this we can transform this and it will look completely different and now I'm going to drag out the footer sample for just below this card section so before I make any changes I add the pictures and change the colors what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag out the header separator and the footer separator these separators you can find them here in WordPress blocks tab. So if you open this, you can see header separator and footer separator. So you need these separators to export your theme into WordPress. You need to use them. You must use them. So you, with header separator, you will mark the end of the header. So I know that this is exactly the end right in between these two sections before the hero image. So going back to blocks and I'm going to drag out the header separator and scroll down to the footer what we have to mark is the beginning of the footer so I'm just going to drag it right on top of the of the footer I'm scrolling back up again all these pre-built blocks are responsive ready so I'm going to switch in between devices and you guys see how it is ready for all devices okay so this will save loads of time what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add different pictures and I'm gonna change some colors so you guys see how fast this is first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the logo so if you bring your mouse on top of the image you can see it's an image box so just to change an image you're just gonna double click this and Here's where you will add all your images. So I have all my assets ready. So I'm just going to double click and go to the folder where I have all my assets. So this is the logo. So I'm just going to click on open. Select the image and there you go. That is the logo. The next element that we find in the header is the menu and then the social media icons here. Um, the, men the menu here in Themes Generator in the styling options, what you can do is you can change the, the, um, the color of the text and the rest of the things you will do that in WordPress. So I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm also going to leave the social icons up here and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue using this color palette. So I'm going to use this orange that I've used for the, for the logo and also this background here okay so next thing is I'm going down to the hero image 
gonna scroll down a little bit so this hero image um image is placed inside the background so whenever you want to make the changes in an element just click on it and then you'll go directly it will bring you to the style manager so here to change the background image i'm going to decorations down here scroll down and go to background here's a layer just open it and you see the image over here so click on image and i'm doing exactly the same thing i'm going to open where i have my files and i'm going to select the images which is this one over here let's click and here it is so let's make some quick changes for example i'm going to change the color of this text over here so once i click it all the text is edited here all the styling is in typography tab okay so here you can see the font size and also the color i um, want to continue with with the orange and i think i'm going to get this orange over here so i'm just going to copy this color click on this text again and i'm going to paste this orange color to edit the text just double click and you have this okay also i'm going to change the background color so I'm going back to decorations and I'm also going to change it for this, for this orange. And also this yellow seems too bright. So I'm just going to bring it to a gray like this. I'm also going to add, um, let's change this color a little bit and I'm also going to add a a background color with some opacity and also I'm going to change this this color maybe to something like this so welcome and I'm going to create some kind of travel agency uh, page so let's say um, book your advent okay so the box seems way too big so i'm just going to bring down a little bit the size remember all the text is edited here in typography and i'm just going to leave this yellow and type wherever okay this section is done too. Um, what we can do actually is if you can see all the elements have borders. So if you want to preview in a way a little bit how it looks without borders, just click on show borders or hide borders. Okay. I'm going to scroll down a little bit here and here you can also make some modifications. So you can change the image. These images here are also image backgrounds. So I'm going to click on the first box and go back to decorations here in background same thing it's a layer so I'm going to bring out sorry I'm gonna drag the my images here let's start with this one I'm going to the next image I'm doing exactly the same thing two more as you see guys this is pretty fast to do and now i'm also going to show you how to edit the the text really 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 fast because all these cars what they have is they share classes so that makes you save loads of time okay so I'm going to click on the title here, okay? I'm just going to hide this. So if you guys can see over here, it says classes and it says the name of the classes. So I'm going to click over the text and you see these titles, they actually have the same name of class. 
This means that whatever changes I'm going to make to these elements that share this class, it will apply to all of them. So let's say that I'm going to change the color of the, of the text and I'm going to use actually this background up here. I like this color, so I've selected the background. By the way, if you need some help with selecting the backgrounds, then you can use the arrows because it will bring you to the element which is above. And now background color is here in decoration. I'm just going to copy it to my clipboard. I'm going to click on the text. Remember, text is edited here in typography. Paste the color. What I'm going to do is center it. See how all the elements that share this class have been centered. Also, I'm going to change to impact. Okay. But whatever you write, it will be different. As an example, I'm going to type cycling here and over here I'm going to type a different thing. So you see how it's changed. So let's say what I'm going to do with the subtitle too. They all, all the subtitles here, they also share a class. So I'm also going to center it and I'm also going to center the, the, the text here. You can open the color picker and change your own color. Over here what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the same orange for the subtitle. Sorry, which is over here. And now I'm also going to go down to the footer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this background color. I want it to match this one up here which is a little bit darker. Okay? So I'm going back to decoration, so in background color, make sure the background is selected, okay? If not, use your arrows and click here. I'm going to click that color over here. The theme is almost done and another thing that we can do is we can add links to certain elements like for example I'm going to scroll back up to the hero image and here we have um, a button and this button is inside a, a link so see how I click it shows it's a link and here I'm back to the style manager here's where we can add where we want to link this element um, another example of elements that we can link is social media icon so each of these images is inside a link to and for example if you want to to click it and it's like a small element like this what you can do just click on the image and use the arrow to get the container the link container so back here to the right what we're going to do is we're going to paste our link our twitter link okay so i've opened a tab here with with the links, I'm just going to copy it. It's to my is copied into my click in my clipboard, and paste it here. All right. So and we can choose if we want to open this link in this window or a new window. I'm just going to leave it in a new window. I'm going to hide the borders. Give it a quick look. Remember, if also you want to make some changes in the other breakpoints, feel free to do it. I think um, I, I think I'm happy how it looks right now. It looks pretty good, actually. So next thing is just go to this export to WordPress icon and click on export WordPress template. So a zip file is going to download right now and we're going to bring it to WordPress. I'm now in WordPress and I'm going to preview this theme. I'm going to install the theme first, the one that I've just created with the pre-styled blocks. This is the zip file, the theme. So I'm going to open and install it. Click on activate. Now let's visit the site. Okay, so this is the site with all the changes that I've made. I've used the pre-styled blocks and I created some kind of uh, travel agency website. 
This is just a little preview of what you can do with Themes Generator and the pre-style blocks, how you can edit them really, really fast and how you can build your own site by just dragging and dropping these blocks and just making a few changes. So more tutorials are coming soon so you will learn how to use Themes Generator and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to get notified whenever another video is out. So thank you guys for watching.